Hey, welcome everyone to Humanized, Your Health Personalized. And so today we're actually turning the tables a little bit. So I'm the guy, you, you might know me, I've been on before, I'm Mark Isaacson, I run Village Green Apothecary, it's our team that developed Humanize, um, whatever it is, it's like about a year ago or so. And now, so, so we've got some extraordinary people on our team, and, and we have David Stouter with us, who's got incredible decades of experience in the nutrition business and understanding supplements and, and being able to understand and answer all these questions on where do you get supplements? You know, what do you do about quality control? How do you make sure you're getting the right kinds of things? So what I think I'd like to do is just um, turn things over to David real quick and have David give you a little bit of overview, a little bit of background, his background, and then he and I will just do a little dialogue and Q&A back and forth. Well, well thanks, Mark. And um, uh, uh, sometimes you see me as a fill-in host on, on the Humanized Health podcast, which I'm happy to do. I've been in the industry for just about 50 years, and I have worked mostly retail, but also I've worked for vitamin uh, companies and as a sales rep. And um, I, I did a radio show out in San Francisco for 20 plus years where I got to interview people that were very credentialed, some of the same people that we have on our Humanized podcast. And it's given me a um, pretty wide view of the industry. Um, I'm a, obviously a fan and an advocate, and I, I think I have a pretty good nose for BS um, when it comes to some of these things. So um, maybe we'll start, and, and Mark and I are going to talk a little bit about, you have a lot of places to buy your supplements, and maybe there's not just one place that's good and they're all bad, but I want to... I want to talk about, I'm going to lead this off, Mark, when we talk about the, uh, the mass market, uh, you know, like your drug stores. Now, I remember one time reading um, an article that said 80% of vitamin tablets don't break down. And my first impulse was, well, that's ridiculous. I know better than that. Because, and then I went, well, wait a minute. 80% of vitamins are probably sold in mass market. And so that they're probably not talking about the kind of supplements you find in Village Green or good health food stores. But I don't find, I don't find, I, I find the mass market being pulled along slowly by our industry to get up to certain quality standards. You can tell me what you think, but I see low potencies, incomplete formulas, and poor quality raw materials, mostly, not every product. Right. Yeah. So I, I think obviously, and this is obviously not universal everywhere, but certainly in mass markets, the idea is volume profitability. And because you've got bigger businesses that have a huge focus on margins and revenue, you're, you're definitely more likely from everything I've ever seen and, 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 and know is it, you're, you're correct. I agree. You're likely to get lower potencies. You're potentially likely to get the wrong form of something, the least expensive form that just by any one of the more fillers, binders, you potentially can get coatings and stuff that impact bioavailability. So any one of these factors obviously could, could really significantly reduce uh, deliverability and create problems for somebody. And, and the other outcome. thing, the other thing about, you know, your typical drug store, maybe not everyone, but um, I, I knew a, a sales rep um, that had come into our store and she had worked for 20 years as a mass market vitamin sales rep. And then she worked for happened to be Carlson, one of the companies that we carry with a really good reputation. And she said what floored her was when she went into a health food store to introduce a product, she got all these questions. Where does your lutein come from? What's the percentage of this? Where do you manufacture it? That for 20 years, when she went into drugstores, nobody said any of that. They were like, Oh, well, how much is it? What's the profit? Do you do national advertising? And that doesn't make them evil. Or anything that's a business model but the the health food stores by and large are concerned with these things about quality and if it's going to work and that's and and you know there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff i see in the drug stores now that that i would buy some of the brands that we represent show up in drug stores so they're getting better but by and large i think you have a mentality that says um uh, somebody wants a multivitamin if i can make the cheapest they'll buy mine and that's not the philosophy you see for these companies. They want to make something complete, like you say, the right forms. And so generally, um, you really have to know your stuff to get something really good, it, it, basically, in the mass market. Yeah. And, and David, you know, as you're talking, it makes me really think, think a lot 
about there's two sides to the equation and why we do what we do. And you know what we've been doing for Village Green for all these years is that on one side of the equation, you've got, okay, you know, is it the right product? Is it the right quality product? Does it meet our standards? Because as you know, but to make sure everyone understands is we've got this whole team of decades and decades of experience, you know, 15, 20 people degreed as pharmacists or clinical nutritionists and NDs and a whole host of people that have just tremendous industry experience and know all the questions to ask, to identify, you know, the brands and look at the raw materials and make sure you get the right form and the right dosing and without minimizing fillers, binders, coatings, and optimizing delivery systems and so forth and have synergistic nutrients. So that's one side of the equation. But I would also say when you're, when you're, you know, this is about quality and figuring out the right location to go to. But the flip side of that is ultimately you might be able to find several places where you can find these products and that's what happens today. But really the big question, the ultimate big question also becomes, hey, who do you trust and who's got the knowledge base? Because the reason we're doing humanized and we're saying it's personalized health is because everybody is incredibly different, whether you're looking at genes or labs or epigenetic lifestyle data or impact of toxins, is that you need to find that person. And we believe it's having a pharmacist or a clinical nutritionist or an HPATH uh, doc and other people that have depth of, of experience in the industry to make sure that you're, you're taking this whole group of different products. We carry 10,000 of them. <laughs> and in our case, it's also being able to figure out when you look at quality and getting results to make sure you are getting the right quality product for you with the right form and the right dosing that's giving you the, the specific nutrient amount that you need for your unique situation. Right. And let, let's talk about the Internet for a second, Mark, yeah. because, uh, you know, I I came through the industry when there was no Internet. And then the Internet was this like little sort of thing off in the corner. And now it's, you know, definitely a big part. Uh, obviously, we have a thriving Internet site. You can go to myvillagegreen.com and we have a lot of resources there. Humanized is there. These, uh, And certainly you can order product. Um, and in case anybody didn't know this, when when you order products on the My Village Green website, we got all of us going around picking the products off our shelves. There's not some warehouse <laughs> yeah, somewhere. And team, right. And, and yeah, we know and, where those products are coming from, of course. Right. It, exactly. Now, um, as the internet's become bigger, I understand the model where, say, Mark and I want to start a vitamin company and we realize we can just sort of go on the internet and sell it directly and maybe come up. But I'll tell you something. Um, there, there's not a lot of control on the internet. Uh, and there, uh, what I've often said is, most of the things on the internet are probably fine, but all the dishonest people or incompetent people, let's say well-meaning and competent people, that's the only place they can go. That you know, um, I've had people come into my store and want to sell me products. When I ask them questions, they don't have answers. And um, I had one per person call me up and say, we got this new product company I never heard of, right? And we'll send you two cases for free. And I go, wow, that's very generous. I said, can you send me some info and a copy on the label? And I, oh, no, we can't afford to do that. Uh, we're sending this product for free. I go, well, how do I know if I want it? <laughs> and the guy was really incensed. I go, well, I don't care if it's free. I'm not going to carry it unless I want it. And he hung up on me. But I mean, um, most people were like, yeah, two cases free. I'll take it. But we have high standards and you don't always find them on the Internet. So what I would say is. I'm a fan. I don't buy things I'm going to eat on the internet. That's just my standard. Doesn't have to be right. anybody else's. Right. And the other thing is, I like coming into an actual place, touching and feeling the product, looking at it. And like you referred to, Mark, I want expertise. I want someone that doesn't just influence me over the internet, but I could talk to and ask questions of and get a broader perspective. So I still... You know, the internet's not bad and, and we have an internet site, but I still think I'm so impressed with what you've created at Village Green and honored to be part of it is that you have everything going. You have the widest selection of supplements, great prices, lots of good sales, and a team of, of that can work with people who have knowledge. And my wife once said she didn't want to buy wine from anybody without wrinkles, you know, just, and here I am. So, you know, um, but uh uh, so I'm really impressed. And, you know, I would just be a little, just be a little careful if you're out there on the internet, because you are in the jungle. Um, 
Yeah. I've been in the industry 50 years, never sold anybody a contaminated product, but I know people that have bought it off the internet. So you get, there's reason to pay for a gatekeeper. There's I think a, you right, obviously more. there's a higher level of um, due diligence, you know, when you're, when you're buying from a company that's web-based or has been a, around a long period of time. And it is true. I mean, look, we, we at Village Green, because obviously it's so important to us. I mean, we deal with brands that have been around a long time. We deal with, with, with um, the clinicians and talk to the clinicians and the educators and, and, and sometimes the manufacturing people very often that are behind these brands. And we're getting, you know, um, all of the detailed quality control they're going through. And we, we very specifically deal with these uh, people always ask, oh, so we talked about this a little bit before we started, but are these products like FDA approved? And there are now, people don't even realize this. There are GMPs. GMPs stand for good manufacturing practices. So we review the supplement companies and make sure that they're following these GMPs, which include reviewing and having every single raw material checked to make sure it is what it is supposed to be. And then, then post-production um, sampling the, they all, always call them the lot numbers, the products that roll off, you know, that have just been manufactured a particular batch, you call it a lot number, a batch number. But I mean, the right manufacturers that we work with, they are testing those batches and they are confirming what's on the label is actually in the bottle. So you've got all these things that I mean, a lot of consumers would never understand, but there's a ton of, um, you know, there's a, a ton of standards that we are absolutely required uh, to meet in the supplement business. And the difference is if you're not paying attention, it is very possible that you can have a manufacturer be selling products where they're not meeting some of these standards. And even though they should, they're, they're supposed to be following them, there are people that obviously, unfortunately, there's that segment, you know, um, the bad guys <laughs> where they're just not following these standards. So we are really driven by making sure that our team is doing that. And uh, um, Dave, I'll give you one other example, which we think is also very important. We also, our collective team looks at the clinical research and looks at the clinical studies and, 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 and reviews brands. And some of these brands might have patented ingredients that are the ingredients. So there's, that, that, this is what we talked about a little bit earlier. There's a variety of different forms and ingredients and dosing for what might be like a, a, a B vitamin or, or a turmeric or whatever it might be. So it's understanding the right things. And for example, in our pathway proprietary product line, we have north of like, I think it's 40 plus like patented ingredients where we're taking the best ingredients that are delivering all of that science and research, you know, that we know is, is going to provide the best outcome and result for the customer, client, patient. So clearly we think these are the important things to do where we can deliver great products and also provide um, great value along the way if we do things the right way. And that's so important. And I do want to say one thing to everybody listening. I still get a lot of people that walk in the store. They go, are these products regulated? I heard they're unregulated. Now, first of all, if you think our government would let a 30 billion plus industry be unregulated, uh, you know, you should think it a little harder about that. Now, one time years ago, I saw Senator Dick Durbin and he was talking about when people walk down the pharmacy aisle of a store, they have that assurance that everything's regulated and FDA approved. And when they walk down the supplement aisle, they may think they have that insurance, but they don't. But let me let me um, let me uh, take Dick Durbin's analogy there and go a little further. Um, when they say it's not regulated, it's a little bit of doublespeak. They mean that supplements are not regulated as drugs, and that's because they're not. Legally, they're food supplements. And drugs um, are inherently a little more dangerous or be a lot more dangerous than mm -hmm. food supplements. So yeah. if you compare the numbers, let's go to the produce aisle in that store. So many people are sickened by our produce, uh, you know, have reactions, things get contaminated. So I would argue that our dietary supplements are highly regulated food, not under-regulated drugs. And trust me, there are plenty of regulations. If you walk into one of these vitamin companies, like Mark said, that follows the GMPs, good manufacturing practices, and say, hey, you guys aren't regulated, they'll laugh at you. Um, so that's, that's why, uh, as a consumer... I've always liked 
Village Green uh, for all those reasons. They have the widest selection of products. They have knowledgeable people to help me. They have good prices. And like I said, I have a gatekeeper. I have somebody, uh, now I'm part of the team, which I'm proud to be, but um, that's the kind of thing that's always seemed like the ideal health food store to me. Um, some of our stores have gotten a little away from that. You know, they're, they're heading, it's like Whole Foods is becoming Safeway and Safeway is becoming Whole Foods. You know, in a way that's good because our thing is becoming mainstream, but th there's a core um, of this industry and, and you're doing the right thing, Mark. I have a lot of respect for what you've created. And again, happy to be part of it, but th that's why I think Village Green is so special. And I'm happy to, in a sense, promote it. I think we're one of the best places to get, to get supplements and just consider all those things when you're shopping. Look, I mean, that, that's, that's why we do what we do. That's why we have people like you. I mean, our, our distinction is our team does the research. We've got pharmacists, we've got clinical nutritionists, we've got naturopathic docs, we've got many, many people who have, you know, 20, 30, 40 even years of plus of experience. And the difference is making sure, as I said earlier, I think just in wrapping this up, the big difference is both making sure that you have the right products, they're the right dosing, right forms, right patented ingredients, that uh, having the products and the ingredients that, that, that are used in the clinical studies. So that's one bucket. So we obviously think that we're doing that. And the other bucket is obviously having the staff to make sure for your personal needs, you are getting the right recommendation because just because I have an issue and I'm using one supplement doesn't mean that supplement's going to be all about you or for you. And that's obviously what, what, what um, humanized, um, humanized is all about and, and the ability now to uh, focus on personalization and do that through working with the right person, us learning all your health history. If you want to go deeper, we can look at labs and genetics and so forth. So uh, hey, it, 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 it's a great process and we're making a lot of headway with it. So I would just wrap up and, and say, Dave, appreciate your help, appreciate all your insights. And just so everyone um, remembers, you can go to humanizehealth.com to get any of these shows. You can uh, always go to uh, myvillagegreen.com to learn about our business and also access these shows. And um, great having you, David. Appreciate it. Well, I enjoy it. And, you know, just remember one thing. I heard a, um, and I don't say it's a negative way, a bureaucrat in, in our government, in the medical industry, say that 75 to 80% of the money we spend on healthcare is on preventable diseases, which is another way of saying 80% of your health challenges are best met with diet, lifestyle, nutrition. There are places for medication, surgery, certainly. Modern medicine is absolutely incredible at a crisis. I think in a lot of ways they may fall short for chronic things and you wanna at least bring mother nature into the picture. And, and that's, you know, I think we've we've got the right attitude and, and the right things for you at Village Green. and. Um, um, I commend you, Mark, and this was a lot of fun. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this.